What's up guys, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know that we've been doing street photography for a little bit over two years now. And I figured it was perfect timing for me to now share some tips on how some of you guys can get started with street photography. Now I understand it can be a little bit scary to go out there and shoot, take photos of people, structures, whatever you see out there on the streets. But honestly, it can be very, very rewarding. And for me, it is such a fun time, such a relaxing time to just connect and get creative with the city. For my first tip, I'm going to recommend to you guys to bring your smallest setup possible. Go light. Don't carry your 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Don't carry a huge old tripod when it's your first time you're gonna go out and shoot. You don't want to scream you're a photographer with the gear you're carrying. The smallest camera that you have and your smallest lens, prime preferably, that will do for you to go take photos. The less people that you have around thinking that you're a photographer, the less people that will come up to you, ask you, or you know, kind of get weird when you're taking the photos in downtown. Now for my second tip, I'm gonna say take the photo and move. And by this, I want you to, once you get to your city, wherever you're going to take your photos, you're gonna take out your camera out of your backpack and start shooting it doesn't matter what it is it could be a car it could be a building um, whatever it is you know you have to kind of warm up and I only say this because when I started it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to finally take my camera out and take the first shot I'd see a composition or something and I would convince myself that it was a bad image just so I wouldn't take my camera out and start shooting just take a photo and move you also want to be moving because that is a great way for people to not stop you especially when when you're taking a portrait of somebody or you want somebody in your image take a shot and walk away now some things that you can be looking out for is architecture i love photographing the buildings the shapes anything about buildings reflections just look for interesting buildings in your city and see how you can frame them. then from there you can get way more creative the next tip would be lighting lighting makes a huge tip really cutting the grass I recommend you look for lighting. You want to be shooting at different times of the day. I don't want to say there's a right or wrong time to shoot because the light will drastically change any location that you go to. And I think that is just the beauty of street photography. You can never recreate the same image. You can never get that stranger with the same clothes, with the same position, with the same time of day and the same time of year because the sun moves around. That is how crazy street photography is. You have one shot, one time to take that photo. And if you miss it, it's gone forever. And I think that is what's so cool about this. Now back to the video. Lighting. I love shooting about two, three hours-ish before sunset, depending where I'm at in downtown. What I love to see is long, long shadows and a very strong golden light on the floor compared to the shadows. And then I'll try to find a subject and go from there. That is the best light for my light. Now for my next tip, I'm gonna recommend you, you look for interesting subjects. Some guy wearing a nice suit that you like, some guy wearing a different yellow t-shirt that you haven't seen or something odd, something that stands out from the crowd. If you can get something like that in your photos, it really makes people wonder what is going on. And another thing, try to look at it like you were a tourist. For me, I go to Mexico quite often and I find it hard sometimes to take the photos because I live there and to me, it's, it's accustomed to me. But certain things that I, if I would have looked at it with the eyes of a tourist, an American per se, and I photographed that thing because it was strange, you know, the subject, the location, it was different, then that would have made a great image. But to me, it's so common. I've seen it so many times, it's so normal to me. And that's one thing that I always try to remind myself is try to look at things like you were a tourist. For my next tip, I'm going to recommend you to be ready for the shot. Once you find a great location, once you find the right lighting that you wanted, all you have to do is get ready for the right subject to cross through. By this tip, I recommend man that once you've found those things you just wait there and wait for the person sometimes that's all it takes it could be the beautiful light that you have com coming through great lighting in the certain place that you're at and all you need is a person facing a certain direction you just stand there and wait five minutes ten minutes depends how long you want to try it out the point of this thing is street photography is about waiting it's about enjoying the scenes really thinking 
know, of your surroundings and finding a different way to showcase what everybody else sees. I love listening to music, podcasts, or an audiobook while I'm out there shooting. Really focuses my energy, my ideas into what I'm shooting and what I'm listening to. I don't know why I love it. Maybe it's just me, but if you do do it, make sure you're safe. You don't get ran over. I don't want to hear anything about that on my channel. Do it at your own risk. Be careful out there. Now for my last tip, you want to have fun with this. Enjoy this. This is supposed to be fun. This is a form of art, guys. When you go out there, do your best to enjoy your time out there. Be friendly with people. If they ask you what you're doing, be friendly and tell them you're working on street photography. You're very interested in the art and all this stuff. You don't have to blow them off or get scared, you know? Definitely have fun. If you do go out and take some photos, make sure to tag me. I'd love to see your work. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Subscribe for future content. Comment any questions you might have. And I'll see you guys on the next video.